Wizards and witches, wherever you dwell, give us a sign by ringing the bell. Gene, what did I tell you about doing witchcraft in the house? What's up, nerds? Welcome back to Drinking Nerdy, where we drink and talk nerdy. This is Jane, and I'm Gus, and today we're talking about Halloween. -y. You don't look very Halloween today. Oh. Well, that looks better. Thank you. I'm Wizard Will, and I'm missing something. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> Pretty magical. So, Jane, about Halloween. Yeah. What makes Halloween so special to you? Ooh, I love all the spooky stuff. What do you mean? Like I love haunted houses and like the haunted forests. Oh shit. Do they scare you? I actually been to a legit haunted house before. Ooh. A friend of mine and a couple friends of mine and we went to a like an old abandoned sanitarium. Ooh, spooky. It was the scariest thing I've ever done. I, I've never shaken before, I shook there. And the funniest thing is that when we went there, there was like a group of like 30 people and they were doing a, like a ghost hunting blog online. Okay. So they like adopted us into their group. <laughs> and so they, you're a ghost hunter now? Dude, I'm pretty sure I'm an amateur ghost hunter. I'm pretty sure I'm somewhere online in some video. And they took us with them and we went through the sanitarium and they had like, like guns to, and lasers or whatever. Huh. Yeah, and I, they were like, they were recorded and they are like, can you guys hear that? And I was like, I was like, dude, we have to leave. We have to get out of here. Like, we're going to be hunted. Dude, do not let bad spirits get you, man. Ooh, <laughs> Halloween is spooky. You know, so I have this theory or this, like, scary idea about haunted houses. Is So you have all these scare actors that are around with, like, chainsaws and knives and stuff. What if one of them was actually a murderer? <laughs> Wait, like, you have to go in with, like, a shield and a sword to protect yourself? No, like, you have no idea that it's happening. You walk in thinking, like, oh, this spooky guy is going to jump out and say boo. And it's a legit murderer? And he's actually murdering you. That's my fear. That's Jane's <laughs> fantasy. That's she wants to be the... fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, see, what I love about Halloween... Yeah. Trick or treating, dude. That's I true. love trick or treating. Free candy... I wish I could still get free candy. It doesn't matter how old you are, Jane. If you put a mask on, no one knows how old you are. Go around, get your candy, dude. Think I can pull off, wear some pigtails, think everyone's um, 15? No, wear a mask. Uh, okay, fair enough. I'm being rude. Rude. No, what, so what else do you love about Halloween? You know what? I love all those like spooky movies. But spooky like, movie. not just the scary stuff. I love the like corny, like yeah. 80s and 90s, like spooky stuff like casper like casper and teen witch yes. and halloween town i've never seen halloween town you've never seen halloween town no okay we're gonna disney plus it up and do some halloween town done yeah the, the other thing i love to i love about halloween pumpkin spice everything pumpkin spice everything Ooh. lattes ales porters pies salsa salsa Salsa. Pumpkin spice salsa. Whew. This has gone too far. My, my, my wizard outfit is unmagically raveling. <laughs> I think you mean magically unraveling? That's, yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> well, Merlin or Wizard Will or whatever your name is. You want to make some comments? I don't know what my... Uh... <laughs> I am Rigelon the Magnificent. Rigelon? Yes, it's um. I used to play this game called Mage Knight when I was a kid, and Rigelon was the hero of the dragons. Look it up; it's a real thing. Well, anyways, Rigelon, want to make some cocktails? Let's. All right, well, let's do it. Divine guidance told me to make a witch's brew. We're gonna start with the Kettle One Botanical Slime. Their peach flavor, two ounces. Half an ounce of Saint Germain. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Half an ounce of sour mix. And two ounces of white grape juice. Shake it up. 
adding one more magical ingredient. This is a prism powder from Fancy Sprinkles. Give it one last stir. We have a fancy crystal ball. What's up, nerds? So I'm gonna show you how to make my healthy health potion. Gin, the botanist. Citric acid. It's just lemon juice. We get some cubes up in here. We strain this bad boy into your beaker for optimal results. Beet and carrot juice. Give it a swirl. Optimal HP.